Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sharing the Glitter Mix Canada chromes that I did pick up during the Black Friday sale. So if you'd like to see more in regards to these, how pigmented they are, what my thoughts are, and which ones are my favorite, stay tuned. So today I will be sharing the chromes that I did pick up in my most recent Glitter Mix Canada haul, which I will have linked in the cards for you as well. So I will just be showing like what they look like over white and black and I'll probably also maybe do like an ombre or something I'll see we'll see how it goes but I really want to share these with you guys because they are so like chromes are so much fun I think I only have two other chromes and they're from a company called what's up nails and I was like okay I need to start building up my chrome collection so figured I might as well start with adding some of these that were on sale so technically these four our collection and this was the Christmas collection and then the blue one I just added in because I wanted a blue girl so let's get started so first I'll be going in with the blue chrome and honestly guys I just adore this color like, look at how beautiful that is and keep in mind that these were like more pressed but because of how delicate they are like any bouncing any accidental drops and it will shatter like this so some like majority of the ones I got were like this I think the only one that didn't do this for me was the gold so I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of the eyeshadow applicators that do come with the chromes when you purchase them and first off I'll be showing what it looks like over white <laughs> Isn't this such a gorgeous color? Now obviously I would like burnish it in some more but just for the purpose of the video. But if it was on a client, yeah I would burnish it in some more and make sure like any of those fine sparkles or pigments that I'm seeing were completely gone before I went with the top coat but like look at that. And here we have it over the black. how amazing this looks over black like I love how chromes look especially over darker colors but this is just to give you an idea so this is the white this is the black so amazing so I'll go ahead and give this a top coat just so you can get an idea of what it would look like glossy I also forgot to mention that you do get like a lot in the jar I can't remember how much I paid for them but they were on sale at the time so even though like regular price it's still worth it because there's a lot of pigment in this jar and this will last you quite quite some time and here we have the blue chrome with top gloss so this is over black and this is over white I just love how it looks like it looks really nice over both colors but me personally I just prefer how it looks over the black next up is the gold chrome and I actually used this in my last um, video well my first nail art compilation video which I'll have linked up in the cards for you as well I loved how this looked when I did it with the nail art it's just so beautiful so this is what I mean like this one luckily I've been able to keep it pressed like it is so it hasn't shattered like the other ones but it still works as you can tell shattered or not it's just less messy I guess <laughs> this gold over this white how can you not love it it is so amazing over the white so so beautiful and here it is over the black oh guys 
I'm like honestly I love the effect that chromes have and I love like the different variations you can get based on the base you use so you can get different variation based on if you use a lighter base white black darker base so the possibilities are endless but I might see about using some of these in some nail art sets some press on sets I'll have to see cuz I'm loving the results I'm getting. And here are the two side by side. So of course this is what it looks like over black and this is what it looks like over white. To be honest, I like the results I get with both of them. Like with the blue, I liked it more over the black, but the gold over the white is really beautiful as well. And here are the two with a glossy top coat. So again, this is the gold over black and this is the gold over white. Which do you prefer guys? I actually really like the both of them. So this is the green from the Christmas chrome set. And funny enough, I actually used this one in my compilation video as well. I love the results I got from it too. So this is one of the ones that shattered, but again, I can still use it. The pigment is just like to the side of the jar, which is why you guys can see the bottom of the jar. But trust me when I tell you, there is actually a lot of the chrome pigment in these jars that will last you quite some time. This is definitely a Christmas green. You could probably get away with using it throughout the year, but like, this is just the perfect green for the Christmas set. So here we have it over the white, such a pretty green. And here's what it looks like over the black, guys. <laughs> I love, like, these chromes are amazing. Like, ridiculously amazing. And they look so good over both colors. But so far, I really like the blue and the gold. No, sorry, the blue and the green over the black. And this is without top coat. So here we can compare the two. So obviously the darker the color it seems like, more vibrant it will be. But you still get a really nice light chrome over a lighter color like the white. So I'll go ahead and give these a top gloss. So here's what the two look like with top coat. Guys, I'm really loving how this green looks over the black. Even though this was in a Christmas collection, you could, I think you could get away with using this throughout the year, guys. Let me know what you think. So the second last color that I will be sharing is the red. Okay, so I was mistaken, actually. So the gold and the red are the two that haven't shattered for me. So it's the green, the blue, and the silver that actually did um, end up breaking a bit, but the red and the gold stayed intact. Funny enough, because those are like my two favorite Christmas colors to use. <laughs> and here we have the red over the white. Again, you get like a very light red chrome, which is still very nice regardless. Ignore like the spotting here. I think I messed up when I applied my, when I was doing the application. So that's why it looks like that. But obviously if I was working on someone, I would make sure that it is done properly. <music> Here we have the red over the black. This is so beautiful. Honestly, I think I'm really preferring a lot of these over the black. It's just that the gold worked really nicely over the white or the black. So again, here it's the red chrome over black and over white without top coat. So I'll go ahead quickly now and give these some top coat. And here are the two with top coat on it so beautiful guys like i'm loving these i just love how vampy this looks over the black i can't 
And the last chrome that I will be sharing with you from my Glitter Mix Canada haul is the silver one. So yes, this one like it really shattered. This one arrived shattered and um, I believe like when it was being delivered, you know, just like if anything in travel, it might have just gotten bounced with road travel or anything like that. So that's what initially caused this one to shatter. The other ones that shattered were like my own stupidity. So yeah. <laughs> Again, super, super pretty. I'm excited to see what this looks like because I actually, this is one of the ones I didn't try. And here is the silver chrome over white. Very, very pretty, but I know like this is going to look so bomb over black. What did I tell you guys? And this is the silver chrome over black. Tell me that isn't something spectacular. I just love how bold these chromes are over black. And here are the two side by side. You know what? I really like how it looks over white too, but I love how it looks over black. That's for sure. So I'll go ahead and give these a quick top coat. And here we have the two with top coat. So you can see like the silver over the black kind of gives it a gunmetal almost type of finish but you can definitely tell that it still has the silver to it and over the white you can really see like it's silver but it kind of gives it like a grayish silver tone after i put on top coat guys i think i really like both of them to be honest i was really leaning towards the black one but like with the top coat on it i really really like how both of them turn okay out. so i'm just gonna do a mini tutorial in here with this for you guys so usually you know you prep make sure everything's good to go and now what I'm going to be doing, since this is a black tip, it's just going to make it easier. I'm just going to go in quickly and apply some of my Magic Gel Nail Guard Tackless Hyper Shine Top Coat. So the trick is, though, you want to use a tack-free top coat when you're using chromes. And you don't want to cure it fully. Because if you cure it fully, then the chrome has nothing to adhere to. And you need a somewhat like tacky or sticky, if you wish base to have the chrome adhere to if you cure it all the way it's just gonna slip and slide and if you use a top coat where you actually need to use um that it needs to be cleansed sorry before you to show like that shiny finish you won't get the same effect so it's always best to use a tack free top coat so as you, as you can see guys i've gone in applied my tack free um yeah my tack free top coat and I'm just going to go ahead and give this a cure. Now, again, you don't want to cure it for the recommended time. I'm literally like, I find that the sweet spot with the Magic Gel Tackless Hyper Shine is 10 seconds for me in my lamp. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the two chromes that I will be using is going to be the gold and the red. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cured this for the 10 seconds. So now I'm just going to go in with some of the red at the top and I'm going to do the gold at the bottom. See, because there is still a tackiness per se to it, it makes it very easy for the chrome to adhere and glide onto the swatch stick or the client's nail if you wish, if you were doing this on a client or even on yourself. So I've gone ahead and let the two meet and then I've just burnished the two together to give it like that blending effect. Look at how gorgeous these two look together. So now that I'm happy with the final result, I'm just gonna go in quickly and apply some more taco and then I'm gonna go ahead, stick it back in the lamp and let it cure for the recommended time. So here's the finished result of the chrome gradient with the red and the gold so much fun and so so pretty i think i might have to try and do something with some of these chromes on myself or on a press on set we'll see and here we have it for the glitter mix canada chrome review so let me know what you guys think about these chromes honestly i absolutely love them i think i think they were worth what i paid for which i can't remember because again like i said they were on sale but regardless, you do get a lot in the jars and as you can see, they are very, very pigmented. They look really nice over lighter colors or darker colors. Again, for this video, I did white or black. 
Personally, I like a lot of them over the black, but there are a few that I really like over the white as well. For example, the gold and the red and the silver. So let me know what your thoughts are, what you think about these chromes. Is this something that you'd be interested in? Do you have a favorite color? Honestly, it's really hard for me to choose a favorite. They're all really, really pretty. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in with me and for sticking around. For those of you that may be new to my channel, welcome. And for those of you that have been riding out with me for some time now, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. As always, guys, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments and or questions, leave them down below and I will make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure to follow me on my social media links down below. And until next time, stay glamorous.